Hey guys, how's it going? I'm in Pembroke, Kentucky, about two and a half hours south of Louisville at the Jefferson Davis Historic Site, which is a huge monument to Jefferson Davis. Um, many of you may be asking who Jefferson Davis is, and we will talk about that here in just a second. So first off, let me show you what this looks like. Hopefully that gets it. It's a huge obelisk, which looks a lot like the Washington Monument in DC. Uh, fashioned exactly the same as the monument uh, for George Washington, our first president of the United States. So Jefferson Davis is an interesting character. He was the president of the Confederate States of America. Now you might be asking what the Confederate States of America were. Let's talk about it. Let's set the stage real quick. It's 1860. President Abraham Lincoln just was elected. And the southern states were dependent on slave labor for their economy and when abraham lincoln was elected they knew that he was not a fan of slavery and would threaten their way of life so slowly the states in the south started to secede and that basically means they broke away from the united states and they formed their own country and they called themselves the confederate states of america as for their president, they had to have a leader, so they chose Jefferson Davis. Jefferson Davis was born here in Kentucky. He was a military guy, went to West Point Military Academy, uh, was there at the same time as another famous Southerner, Robert E. Lee. And he eventually became uh, pretty big into politics. He was a, a U.S. Senator and probably would have become a uh, president of the United States if the uh, southern states had not seceded from the Union. So the southern states secede, they break away because they don't want to uh, have their way of life challenged. And they knew Abraham Lincoln would be somebody who may go ahead and do that. So they broke out, uh, broke away and a war broke out, the Civil War, the American Civil War, 1861 to 1865. The Union, or the Northern States, um, Kentucky was kind of on the fence, but everywhere north of us was a free state or a Union state, and it was basically fighting the Southern States, um, the Confederacy. So it was the Union versus the Confederacy. And the thing was that people didn't think that the war would last too long. They thought maybe a couple days, a few weeks at the most, in fact, the first battle of the Civil War, people brought chairs and food and watched the battle. Again, they didn't take it seriously because they didn't think it was, a, it was gonna be a big deal. Four years later, and hundreds of thousands of Americans dead, um, the war ends with the uh, South, the Confederacy, losing. They, um, on April 9th, actually, my birthday, 1865, in a courthouse in Appomattox, Virginia, Robert E. Lee surrendered to Ulysses S. Grant, uh, who would become president later on following um, Lincoln and a couple others. The war officially ended uh, in 1865 and Jefferson Davis, who was the president of the Confederacy at the time, um, would have been um, known as a traitor, uh, a treason, because he went against the, uh, the United States. And rumor has it that when Richmond, which was the capital of the Confederacy in Virginia, um, fell and the war was all but over, Jefferson Davis escaped Richmond and headed down south um, in women's clothes. He dressed like a woman to um, try to get away from uh, Union troops and get away with everything he was never tried um, for treason or anything like that but his legacy uh, was cemented following the civil war um, now a lot of people will tarnish his name and the confederacy for being uh, racist and things of that nature but at that time that was their way of life and um, it was something that um, they didn't know how they would get on without 
without the sla without slavery. However, as we know now, they did just fine. And um, there are monuments to um, people like Jefferson Davis, Robert E. Lee, uh, Jackson, and, and them all over the country. And um, they should be preserved because that is part of our history. Whether or not it was a good part, um, it shouldn't matter. It is part of who we are now. So um, if you guys ever find your way down towards Pembroke or Fairview, wherever I am in Kentucky here, um, you should check it out. It's quite impressive. Um, it's, uh, I'm going to flip you around and do a new video to show you the actual monument itself. Um, hopefully you got a little bit of a history lesson and an idea of why Jefferson Davis was important. Um, and right here in Kentucky, somewhere you could go on a day trip. And uh, hopefully when this is all over, you can go inside the monument and there's an elevator that takes you to the top and you can uh, explore the, um, the grounds. It's very beautiful here. And um, spend it with your family. So I'm gonna make another video here about the outside of the uh, Jefferson Davis historic site and hope to see from you guys, see you guys soon, hear from you soon. Um, keep up all the good work, stay safe, stay healthy. Don't drive your parents nuts. All right, guys, I'll uh, talk to you soon. Hey guys, it's Mr. Joe again. I'm back in Pembroke and at the um, Jefferson Davis National Historic Site. This is the monument to Jefferson Davis. And you guys are probably wondering, um, well, it looks awfully familiar, as it should. It is an obelisk and it's fashioned in the same design and idea as the Washington Monument is in Washington, D.C. Um, I don't believe it's quite as tall, uh, but it is still impressive when you're driving in. You can see it quite from a distance. It stands out all by itself over here. Um, the grounds itself are very beautiful. Uh, it's here kind of in the middle of nowhere. There's my family. Say hi, guys. Hi. That's Thor and Bandit and Tears in my, and my wife, Amanda. So we're here. And my crazy dog is wanting to see me. So you can let him on over. We're gonna kind of get a little closer to the monument here and uh, just kind of get the scale of how really big it is. Maybe there's some information about it up, to, up as we get closer. Um, and like I said, it's down a couple of half hours south of uh, Louisville. So it's not that far. It's a pretty drive. It's an easy drive. And you guys could come in here and have a picnic and see some history and uh, learn about somebody you may not have already known about. <laughs> My dog's pushing me down, y'all. Um, so, okay. Hey guys, sorry about that. I'm back. My crazy dog, Thor, as some of you have seen him, is a big Bernese Mountain dog and he likes to barrel people over when he can. There he is, crazy dog. Um, so you knocked Mr. Joe down. <laughs> I had to reset a little bit. So I found this placard, which tells us a little bit more about uh, Jefferson Davis. Um, this is a zero milestone Jefferson Davis Highway, Fairview, Kentucky to Biloxi, Mississippi. It was erected in 1930 by a group called the United Daughters of the Confederacy. Those are um, women who are um, descendants of uh, people who fought in the Confederacy. Um, it says Jefferson Davis, born. June 3rd, 1808, um, now Todd County, Kentucky, so he's local. He died December 6th, 1889, so he lived a long life uh, in New Orleans, so he uh, passed away down south. Graduated West Point, like I said, military academy in 1928. Served in the Indian Wars, the Mexican War. He was a hero of uh, Buena Vista and Monterey. He was Secretary of War in 1853, and he was a United States Senator, sir as I had said before, um, from Mississippi in 1857. And then he was the president of the Confederate States of America from 1861 to 1865. This calls him a patriot, a soldier, a statesman, and a Christian. This is the big mom, big information um, placard outside the monument over here underneath some trees as you come up to it. Um, Again, I, there's no service out here, so I couldn't look up how tall the monument was. But again, it does rival the Washington Monument in both size and scope and scale. So um, if you're fixing for a day trip and there's nobody here right now, it's absolutely, totally socially distanced. And um, 
so you can see how far away my family is out there um you know come on down and it's it's beautiful learn some history get out enjoy the fresh air and the sunlight all right so again i'll see you guys later sorry for the uh the video craziness um hope to see you guys soon bye hey guys one last video i saw this placard up towards the entrance to the memorial uh i'll read it for you it's hard kind of hard to read through a camera uh it says jefferson davis salute to kentucky and it's in quotations it says kentucky my own my native land god grant that peace and plenty may ever run throughout your borders god grant that your sons and daughters may ever rise to illustrate the fame of their dead fathers and that wherever the name of Kentucky is mentioned, every hand shall be lifted and every head bowed for all that is grand, for all that is grand, all that is glorious, all that is virtuous, all that is honorable and manly. This uh, in the states from the from address made here on his last visit to his birthplace in November, 1886. So a couple years prior to his death. At that time, he presented the site of the cabin in which he was born to the Bethel Baptist Church. He also presented a communion service, which is still kept in the church. Pretty cool stuff. Um, again, you guys should check it out. It's pretty neat.